begin. They should have asked if they could use my statues. What exactly are they doing other than making a big mess? Well, it was supposed to be an exercise in self-restraint. Hate to say it, but I don't think it's working. Stupid, stupid! Apogee don't know how to not kill opponent! My fists won't listen to my brains! Hey, look. Appa? It lives! Apogee didn't kill it to death! I did it! This is first time I haven't made broken pieces of everything in my way! I can now teach Kenichi Muay Thai without killing him! Appa! Why don't we take Miu to see a movie? I mean, that'd be a good way to get to know her, don't you think? What, with both of us? Hey. Huh? You seen Kenichi Shirahama around? It's the takedown trio from Ragnarok! <laughs> hey, did you hear that? We're celebrities now. Then they should know what I'll do to them if they don't answer. But we... we don't even talk to that guy. It's true. We don't know where he is. He always runs off and disappears during lunch. That's very noble of you to try and protect your buddy. Thing is, noble starts to hurt real quick. Are you protecting him? What's wrong with you? We're talking to freaking Ragnarok. Of course I'm not covering for him. <laughs> Seriously, I swear to you, I don't know where he is. You think I'm dumb enough to believe that he could just vanish like that without anyone noticing? Don't treat me like I'm stupid, kid. We've tried to follow him before, but he always gives us the slip and disappears somehow. It's true, he and this girl Miu always take off together. Hey, I know that girl. She wears a purple leotard, she looks sweet and innocent, she's built like a supermodel, but she's a monster in disguise. Uh, that doesn't sound like Miu. M Miu has braids and wears glasses. Really? You're telling me this guy has two girlfriends? Like I needed another reason to kick his teeth in. Your voice is getting in the way of me telling you to shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okita, you think he's here somewhere? I've got you now! <laughs> Check it out. I figure he's trying to hide right beneath our noses. The hell is that? <laughs> This guy's got a serious pair trying to mock us like this. <laughs> Your face, Ukita. You got all worked up over a stupid doll. Way to go, tough guy. Am I missing something? Or is Takeda the only person who thinks this is funny? That punk's gonna pay. No one humiliates me and gets away with it. Where is it? Well, that's weird. I hope I didn't drop it somewhere. What's wrong? Did you lose something? Yeah, Apachai made me this weird voodoo doll and told me to keep it in my backpack. The whole idea of any kind of voodoo really creeps me out, but he said that it would protect me. He's actually a pretty nice guy, you know? Yeah, I've got to agree with you. He's one of the nicest guys that I've ever met. He just doesn't know how to control his own strength. <laughs> uh, man, this sucks. How much longer am I going to have to sneak around like this? You just need a little more training. Once you're able to show those bullies who's boss, you'll be able to relax. Hold on. So you're saying I can't relax till I fought every bully in school? Yep, that about sums it up. <laughs> they haven't been able to find us up here yet, so you can relax a little. This training is starting to wear me out. <gasps> Miu? <laughs> Stop, Miu, please! <sighs> Mijima. Well, your hair trigger reflexes are on the mark as usual. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, Kirichi. Well, I wouldn't have to hide if people like you would just mind your own freaking business. Every time I get me alone, he shows up. <laughs> there are severe implications to my discovery of your hiding place. If I can find you, so can Ragnarok. What's that supposed to mean? Are you their spy or something? I'm not a spy, I just work the angles. But I recommend you find a new hiding spot. Information's a valuable commodity, and this hiding place of yours should fetch me plenty of worthwhile intel in return. <laughs> Don't worry, though. You'll be long gone and safely hidden in some new spot by the time they come looking for you. This con should work a few more times before they catch on. <laughs> wow, I guess you really do know how to work the angles, don't you? Let's get out of here, Miu. There's no need to hang around and listen to this alien freak. Don't get too close to him. You don't want to catch any evil. Leaving so soon? And I thought you'd want to hear the latest information on Ukita the Thrower and Takeda the Puncher. 
What kind of info? Come on, spill it. I would if you asked me nicely. Please tell me the info. Say pretty please, Great God Nishima. Pretty please, Great God Nishima, tell me now. Kiss my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. This fellow here is Ukita Koso. He was expelled due to his highly competitive and aggressive nature. His specialty is the shoulder throw, which he used on a teacher who flunked him. Technically, his fighting index is around 80, while yours, you're just around 62. In other words, you don't stand the slightest chance against this guy. Come on, you can't rate a fighter's ability with statistics. I'm so proud of him. He's finally getting it. Yeah, yeah, but the worst of your worries is another senior, Takeda Iki. Not only is he ruthless, but he's a former lightweight boxer. He's a boxer? Yep, he's a professional fighter. Word is he was the premier rookie till he dropped out of the league. What's <laughs> a guy like that doing fighting for Ragnarok? How should I know that? What makes any man given to evil? It happens all the time. No matter the cause, you know the effect, and that's all you should be concerned with. What do I do? There's only one option! <laughs> All that running you did with Akisame is paying off. I wish he wasn't running away, but you've got to start somewhere. Geronimo! Geronimo! <sighs> they look so intense. What are they doing? Now rock! Paper! Scissors! Let's go! <sighs> oh man, this is the most extreme game of rock, paper, scissors that I've ever seen. <laughs> there goes my theory of strategy. Yeah. Apatai just stuck his hand out without thinking. Apatai never won paper hand game before! If you guys hadn't kept changing your hands, this wouldn't have happened. I'm glad you're having a good time, but I'm in some serious trouble over here. We weren't just playing some stupid game, moron! We were trying to decide which one of us is stuck with training your scrawny-ass neck! You're playing Oops. Paper scissors to decide who's gonna try me! Uh, Sakaki, I thought we had agreed to keep that our secret. <laughs> Kenichi! I'll put the lucky one to train you next! Ah! Don't worry, Kenichi. Muay Thai is extremely effective in competitive fighting. It'll definitely help you against that boxer. A boxer? That's quite a dilemma. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm freaking out right now. Well, assuming you only have a short amount of time to prepare, Muay Thai is your most reliable option. <laughs> is that true, Apachai? If I start learning Muay Thai, do you think I'll be able to beat him? Of course you can! Muay Thai is the only way to kill a boxer! I should trust him. Through all my failures, he's continued to believe in me. He trusts me, so I'm gonna trust him. Just try and take it easy on me, okay? Of course I will! I'll take it easy on you as the mountains are high and the oceans are deep! The statue didn't die, so you won't either! What statue? Okay, Apachai, you're kinda hurting my hands. You can let go now! <laughs> Kaninji! Are you ready? Uh... Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. Muay Thai is the art of bare hand man killing. It'll help you kill your way out of any fight. Um, but I just want to learn how to defend myself against a boxer. Don't think about complicated stuff like that after your opponent is dead. Use your thinking for killing or it'll get you killed. That was my impersonation of my master. So, were you scared? I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. Apachai, before getting into technique training, why don't you explain the history of Muay Thai first? Well, it was invented for killing people! Knock it off with the killing talk, will ya? Hmm. Muay Thai is an ancient martial art that was originally developed to train soldiers in the protection of the Siamese kingdom before they became known as Thailand. Wow. I believe that's what Apachai meant to say. Yes, that is what Apachai meant! <laughs> It sounds like it was created as a very practical means of defense. That's right. My master would tell me story from long ago when King named Nariswan was captured by soldiers of his enemy. But they told him if he could defeat their strongest soldier, they would let him free. But not only did he feat best fighter, he also beat all their soldiers and returned to his country. And, of course, he beat them all using Muay Thai. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm sold. I want to learn. Please teach me. Great. I first teach you ten guard Muay. <laughs> So, what is this Muay Guard Tan thingy? Tan Guard Muay! It is the basic stance of Muay Thai! Like this, right? That's it! Now, Deza! <clears throat> the use of knees and elbows are very important in Muay Thai! Which, in fact, is rather rare, as most contemporary martial arts have banned the use of knees and elbows in tournament fighting. Really? How come? If you use them wrong, you can kill your opponent! That's right. <laughs> However, in Muay Thai, they specifically focus on these moves. Yeah, and why is that? Because if you use them right, you can kill your opponent! 
<laughs> There's too much killing in this martial art. You're never going to be a man acting like this. <laughs> All martial arts are built upon the premise of conquering your opponent. Misused, any of them can become simply a means for violence. Their lethal nature is basically a question of conscience. Question of conscience? If one chooses to use it for his own selfish desires, then it becomes nothing more than brutish violence. However, if you genuinely intend to use it to protect yourself and others, and only when it's necessary, then even the most lethal martial art can be honorable. You must look deep into your heart and ask yourself, do you want your skills to bring misfortune and pain to others? No, of course not! Then you have nothing to fear from Muay Thai. It's not the technique that harms others. It's the desire in one's heart to do so. Now carry on with your training. Right! Appa! What's the deal, Kasala? You sure are taking your sweet time trying to recruit new fighters. This thing's gonna go down any day now, and you're acting like it's no big deal. Shut up, Suji. Uh, this isn't a joke, Kasara. We need a group of tough guys ASA frickin' P. I told you to shut up. You've got my character killed. You know the problem here? It's him. None of this would be happening if you'd let me run things instead of that boxer hey, wannabe. Kasara, we just found out that Shirahama kid's been hiding on the school roof during lunch. Give us one more day and we've got him. Hey, what's your problem, lightweight? You're not gonna say hello to an executive member? I could have sworn I said hey, Kisara, when I came in. You gotta respect your higher-ups. You may not work for me directly, but I'm an executive member and you're just a grunt. Say hello, punk. I said hello to the one who matters. <laughs> oh yeah? You really think you're pretty slick, don't you? <laughs> You sure are jumpy. I was just stretching my arm. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you need this? It's the button from your sleeve. No thanks, I've got plenty. <laughs> Not bad, lightweight. But you know something? Just because you're fast doesn't mean you can save yourself in a fight. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> if my character dies one more time, then you're all dying with them! All right! Kenichi, you're doing basic moves great! I think you're ready to move on! Let's practice with punching next! Sure. Come on, shoot me with your best hit! I guess Apachai really did learn how to restrain himself. He doesn't seem to be as crazed as he was before. What's the matter, Kenichi? Come on, I can take it! Punch me with all you got! I don't care how scared you may be, Kenichi! You're not allowed to come and feel! My fight or flight instinct took over and told me it was time for flight. I'm sorry. What's wrong, Kenichi? But I thought punching was fun. If it's not fun, you just hit harder. <sighs> Are you sure? You're positive you can hold back. <laughs> You made me so sad. The statue didn't die. Apache, I try so hard. I practice so much to control strength, but I can do nothing right. I lose confidence. I can't do it anymore. I give up. No way. Um, I was just joking, Apache. I can't wait to do some punching. Really? <laughs> now you see, hitting isn't scary. It's fun. Yeah, it really is fun. No, you try to dodge one. What? <laughs> Oh, hey, you almost killed the kid, and all you can say is, oh. Please wake up. No, oh dear, did he finally do it? It looks like it. Ah! Applejack held back, I promise. My fists were light as a feather. I barely even touched him. Hey, guys, I think he killed Kenichi. <laughs> Calm down, I'm sure he's fine. With all the training he's been through, a single punch wouldn't. Ah! <laughs> Begin cardiac compression. One, two, three, four, one. Whoa, where am I? See, it was nothing to worry about. What's wrong with you people? Let's all climb on the other Can you throw me in the air and catch me? <laughs> sure, but I have to feed the pigeons first, okay? Come on, pigeons, eat up! Wow. <laughs> you like a tree to those pigeons. Man, that guy. Kids and animals just can't get enough of it. <laughs> hey, Apachai? Uh, Is there something wrong? You don't look very happy. I'm sorry, Apachai's thinking about a tiny big mistake he made yesterday. It's tiny and big at the same time? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, does it? 
It was tiny because it was hard for me to see what I did wrong. Cheer up, Papa Chai. It's okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm happy now. No more being sad for me. Let's go play tag. Well, looks like I've managed to go another day without getting into a meaningless fight. Yeah. I think the equipment shed is the perfect place for us to eat lunch from now on. Those Ragnarok guys will never find us there. It's the last place anyone would look. Kanichi never ceases to amaze me. I can't believe he's in such a good mood after what happened yesterday. I guess I don't give him enough credit. Maybe he's tougher than I thought he was. <laughs> now where's Apachai? I'm ready to roll! You sure, Kanichi? I can't wait to get started. I mean, he taught me so much yesterday but... that I can hardly remember it all. But you almost... <laughs> Do you really think it's a good idea? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. It's not like I can stop now. There's so much to learn. I've just begun. How could he yeah. forget almost dying? <laughs> a temporary loss of memory, probably from the concussion. Don't worry, happens all the time. What do you mean temporary? It's been a whole day since it happened. Akisame! Hmm? I think that you need to give Kenichi a thorough physical exam. Really? Why is that? Because he has absolutely no memory of what happened to him yesterday. I guess we dodged that lawsuit. <laughs> hey, I'm worried about him. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Believe it or not, Miyu, memory loss is pretty common in the world of martial arts. I checked him out yesterday, though. He's only slightly concussed. You're sure? Would you two quit yapping? I'm more interested in what Apachai is doing than your medical concerns. Just be happy the kid's alive. Come on and fight already. I can't believe these people. <laughs> I'm afraid that's still too much. Uh, why am I so stupid? I try so hard, but I can't do it! Apachai put all of his strength into trying to hold back, but his punches are still too strong! Listen to me, Apachai. You tend to spend your afternoons playing with the children in the neighborhood park, don't you? Apachai gets along with everybody, especially kids! I'd like you to try this. When teaching Kanichi, try not to think of it as martial arts training. Try to pretend that you're playing with the kids in the park instead. Where are you, Apachai? I don't get it. Why is he so hard to find all of a sudden? Normally, the big lug would be forcing me to train with him whether I like it or not. Hey, Shigure, have you seen Apachai around? Yeah, he's over there. Cool. Thanks. We're gonna do some more punching practice. Before you do, wear this. What? Why do you want me to wear that thing? It's to protect your brain from being knocked out your mouth. That's really nice of you to offer, but, um, gotta go! See you later! <laughs> The more I get to know her, the more she freaks me out. Hey, Apachai! I promise to hold back with all my might! Right. Oh, total deja vu. This seems strangely familiar for some reason. Come on, let's get to punching! <laughs> you had better not be cheating, old man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And when you get closer, you go to grab for my neck. You can do it! Come on, Kanichi, finish it off! Watch an old man. Don't know if your advice is gonna hold. He's starting to get that look in his eye. Everything's fine, just fine. For as long as he can remember, Apachai has risked his life fighting ruthless opponents in the underground Muay Thai circuit. He's unable to control his strength because any sign of restraint would have gotten him killed. Despite this, there is true gentleness within him that is the defining quality of his nature. <laughs> yeah, I think you might actually be onto something with that one. He's easily the most carefree person I've met in my entire life. It's nice to see that you care for your friends so deeply. What are you two talking about? Hey, watch it, Gramps! You must be going senile! Sakaki won't admit it, but he came to see me this afternoon with a very concerned look on his face. Old oh, man, you gotta do something about Apachai. I've never seen him so greatly distressed before. <laughs> I told you to keep quiet about that! <laughs> I didn't ask for your help because I was worried about him or anything like that. It's just that, weird as it sounds, my sake just doesn't taste right unless I can hear his laughter. That's the only reason I asked. Come on, Kenichi, you can do faster than that! Now try to dodge this one! Try to pretend that you're playing with the kids in the park. Papa? <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh, you scared me there. That was a fast one. I thought I was a goner. That punch was so fast I didn't even see it. In that case, watch your opponent's shoulder and guess the speed. Okay. Oh, wow. He learned how to hold back. That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look for an opening and throw in some punches as well. Mid-practice is pointless unless you practice dodging with it. Right. <sighs> okay, start punching. Come on, faster. Try harder. You can do it. I think you can relax now, Sugar, eh? <laughs> now it's time! You have to dodge! Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Kanichi! Kanichi! Oh, Kanichi! I'm so, so sorry! I don't know what happened! I couldn't control my knee. Could be worse. At least his hands are under control now. We'll just focus on his knees from here on. Back to the playground, I guess. <laughs> hey, this is no laughing matter. Calm down, Sakaki. He's still breathing. What are you talking about? Look at him! I tried to warn him. I'm everything. Got I'm afraid you've met your match, and you're probably going to meet your maker as a result. <laughs> your next opponent is Takeda Iki, a former professional boxer. A single punch from him, and you'll be down for the count permanently. What do I do? What do I do? This guy's a former professional who does it for fun now? There's no way I could beat him. Calm down, Kenichi. You don't want to let stress ruin the last few days of your life. In fact, if it'll make you feel better, I'll deliver your body to the morgue myself. If I can <laughs> use the techniques Opachai taught me, then I just might have a shot at beating him.